streets will never be in this world, but we know God is everywhere. Sure yes. 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 We recognize the man of the hour, Pastor yes. Dalton, yes. and his lovely wife. Amen. 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 Just give ourselves a hand just for being in the house today. It's an honor and a blessing and a privilege, privilege just to be here today and join this opportunity that I do not take lightly because I realize Pastor Duck Pastor. Often to, could have got anybody to come and preach a word today that yes. could, I'm sure could do a job better than little old me. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, I, yes. I just thank the Lord for the opportunity. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. What an awesome, awesome God we serve. Right. We have yes. had a busy week. Yes. Our son was in revival on last week down in uh, Thomasville, North Carolina. He was down there. Uh, my family and I are trying to support him yes. and my son-in-law their revival was on that the end of the week we tried yes. to support them yes. and on yesterday I messed up I carried my wife to Greensboro <laughs> just to go in Macy's and make a payment <laughs> and we ended up being in Greensboro looking long and I anticipated right. yeah. but That's nevertheless right. it was all yeah. good because when I rose this morning Pastor Dalton has been a pastor 
I know you thank God for your wife. Yeah, yeah. It ain't no question about it. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I want y'all to know that I thank God yes. for this woman that stands yes. beside me. Yes. That I would not be the man of God that I am without her. Amen. Amen. She Amen. makes me complete. Come on. She's bone on my bone. Jesus. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my that I may know him yes. and the power of his resurrection uh -huh. and the My fellowship God. of his sufferings being made excuse me, being made conformable unto his death. Uh -huh. If by any means I might obtain until the resurrection of the dead, mm -hmm. not as though I had already obtained, even were already perfect, but I follow after. If that I may apprehend, Come on. therefore which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, mm -hmm. but this one thing I do, yes. forgetting those yes. things which are behind, yes. and reaching forth yes. unto those things which are before. Mm -hmm. I press, I press, hallelujah, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for the work. Amen. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to stand before thy people. And Lord, it's an opportunity that I do not take light. Yes. Lord, I ask that you let me decrease. Yes. Let your people see more of you yes. and less of me. Yes. Use this vessel for thy glory. Yes. In Jesus' name we do ask. Amen. 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 Now we know it's pastor's anniversary. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Amen. Amen. But I believe I heard my sister said that she came expecting yes, sir. something to yes, yes, And yes, one sir. thing I've discovered on this teacher's journey, when you come to church yes. expecting something, yes. you real get something. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just for a moment, we want to leave a thought with us today, just pressing on. Yes, just pressing on. Yes, Is that all right? Yes, all right. In the text, him, Paul seeks not only to know Christ's righteousness, yes. but he seeks also to know Christ personally yes. on a personal level. Uh -huh. level. Yes. You, you know how it is. I mean, where it says, know them that labor uh -huh. among you. Yes. Yes. Am I right? Uh -huh. now, now, I know the members here, they know Scott by now. Jesus. Am I right? Nice. I'm sure that they know that he is a man of God. Jesus. But not only a man of God, but a man that stands on the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, neighbor, the word. The word. Paul wants to experience the power of the resurrected Christ, which is given through Christ's Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know about y'all, but I enjoy just to feel yeah. the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Somebody said, the presence of the Lord is here. Yeah. And, and I don't know about y'all, but we will be better off than when we come to church on Sunday. Yeah. That you bring your own fire. Yeah. 
Sometimes life will put us to the test. Yes. Yes. Anybody believe that? Amen. 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 Now we was blessed Jesus. to pass the 26 years. Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah. And advance his hood, I never will forget. Uh-huh. I believe it was 2002. Jesus. 2002. I can even tell you the month, May. Jesus. Our youngest son got in some trouble. Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah, that. And I was passing at the time. Uh-huh. And that trouble hurt hit me so hard. Yeah. I said, Lord, I I'm through. Uh -huh. I'm through, Lord. Come on. I'm through it in the park. To give up on you. Come on. Come on. And then I thought about that thing. She thought about it. Uh -huh. I thought about that thing. Yes, come to you. Yes. And, and my wife said something to me Jesus. that I never will forget. She said, you are always preaching about faith, having faith in God. She said, now where is your faith? Where is your faith? I even called the chairman of the board, said, I'm resigning. He said, no, you can't do it. I called my pastor. I said, pastor, I'm food. I'm resigning. He said, you can't do it. But after my wife told me that, like the old folks used to say, mm. I went in my secret closet. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah. Woo. Jesus. And he came to my rescue. Yeah. Jesus. And the words he told me, yeah. get up. Yeah. Drop your tears. Jesus. There are souls to be saved. Yeah. Now that was in 2000, 2002 of May. And I'm just thinking in my mind, looking back over in there, yeah. thinking back over in there, all those souls that went out in the water. Jesus. If I were to throw in the turn, my God, my God, when God got a call on your life, you might want to give up. Is that all right? Paul wants to become Jesus. like Christ uh -huh. in his death. This statement has two meanings. First, Paul wants his old sinful self to be crucified with Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you help me out here, Paul? Paul said, therefore, is any man being Christ Jesus, be a new creature? All things are what? Pass away. All things become new. We got to, we can't satisfy this blood and expect to please God. I believe Paul hit the, the anointing of the Lord so good. That when he walked in the street, the Holy Ghost just fell on people yes. and they was healed. Yes. I want to be your life. Yes. Woo! That's saying something. Yes. Yes. And you know what? We can live like this. Yes. It might cost us something. Yes. It might ask us to do something. But we can live like that. Yes. That same God. Yes. That same Holy Ghost. Yes. That did it for Paul would do it for us. Yes. Second Paul is ready. Every day to die with Christ. Jesus. Paul is ready to lose his life uh -huh. for Christ's sake. After passing 26 years, and when I look back over, my life was threatened. Yeah, while Jesus. I was passing, uh -huh. I was cursed out by Jesus. church members while Jesus. I was passing. Jesus. The word hit on that heart, and they were talking right on me. Yes. But I stood there with a smile. I stood there with a smile. And I said, I know the God that I serve. Heaven and earth may pass away, but the word of God will stand. And when you stand on the word of God, the word says, He'll make your enemies a footstool. I'm still here. And the ones that did me wrong, I done buried, I done buried them. So be Share in his suffering. 
Yes. It's going to cause us something. Yes. The sun ain't going to shine oh. in our life every day. Oh, but somebody said, if we hold out we hold and out. Hold, on, hold on, God going to take care of his truth. Yes. Yes. I heard him say on one occasion, I won't put no more on you than you can buy. Yes. But when he said that, he said, my grace yes. is sufficient. Woo. In other words, whatever he put on us, we can burn. Yes, the load right. might get heavy. Yeah, Tears might be running down. Yeah. But if you're standing on the word of God, yeah. somebody say in the word of God, yeah. I got a hiding place. Yeah. Everything going to be all right. Yeah. I might not can see it right yeah. now. The sun might not be shining right now oh, in my life. But if I hold on Jesus. and hold out, yes. I doubt it has to come. Yes. I'm sure every day is all right. Jesus. Paul has not yet obtained the full knowledge yes. and the full righteousness of Christ. Mm -hmm. In other words, he's striving to be perfect. Yes. He's striving to get where God would have yes. him to be at. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. So Paul go on to say, I'm pressing. Jesus. I'm pressing on to God to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of. And that is to take hold of holiness, perfection, and maturity. Yes, yes. Dogs, and I'm sure you have experienced it for 11 years. You would think some church folk would be more mature by now. They heard a word on Wednesday night. They heard a word on Tuesday. When they have a Bible study, yeah. they had a word on Sunday school. Yeah. They had a word during morning morning worship service, but seem like they're just not growing. Yeah. They still stuck in their oh, same old yeah. way. They don't believe in a new thing. Yeah. They don't believe yeah. in changing yeah. for the better advancement of the church yeah. to build up God's kingdom. Yeah. I'm gonna write about it. We might as well preach it here today. Is that all right? Yeah. So if you don't invite me back yeah. no more, oh, that's yeah. fine. sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And I'm telling you something, that you haven't heard Sunday after Sunday. How do you know that, preacher? Because I know dogs. I know who lives on the inside of me. Is that all right? Help me, Holy Ghost, just for a little while. Holiness. Holiness. Black folks don't like that word, holiness. Preacher, that's, that calls for living right yes, now. Y'all want to pray about it. Help me, sir. We want to pray the louder on Saturday night, but yet we want to sing in the choir on Sunday morning. You ain't got to say amen. We want to preach anyway. We want to pray the louder on Saturday, and we want to serve on the different cone on Sunday morning. You ain't getting no choir like that. Your temper has to be holy. Your, your temper has to be clean if you're going to serve the God that I serve. We want to preach to live right so we can get a word on Sunday morning. But all of us got to live right. The preacher ain't doing nothing but just trying to make it into heaven just like you. Is that all right? So if the preacher got to live right, I got to live right too. Am I right about it? Help me somebody. In other words, the preacher just pressing on just like you. Is that all right? Perfection. We should be striving to be more like Christ. In other words, we haven't reached that goal yet, but we are working on reaching that goal. I believe Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. In other words, when God gets through working on us, we shall come forth as pure gold. Until we come forth as pure gold, there is work to be done in the vineyard. Somebody said the work is plentiful, but the labors are few. And we write about it every now and then. You find somebody traveling this road that we call leading to heaven, leading to a better place where every day going to be better than Sunday. Is that all right? Help me somebody. What an awesome God. Ain't he good? Somebody say he's good all the time. Because of that, we can take hold of him. We can obtain him and hold on to him in a spirit.
spirit to sin. Because see, when we're holding on to God, our grip may be weak. Am I right about it? But somebody said, his grip is strong. I would oftentimes hear my dad say, I will lift my eyes into the hill from which come my help and strength. I didn't understand what dad said back then. But trust me now, I know what he was talking about. In other words, he was just simply saying, I can't move. Me. The breath to do it, I will be able to do it. Is that all right? In other words, what my daddy was saying, I'm just pressing on. I'm just pressing on to wall family. I haven't reached my goal yet, but I got my eyes set on Jesus. I'm looking into him because he is my author and the finisher of my life. Paul going to say, forgetting those things which are behind me. And reaching forth into those things which are before. Now, Scott, I'm sure that last five years have been good to you. I'm sure that. But I got good news for you today from heaven. Is that all right? Your next five years will be bad. Tell me somebody. You ain't seen nothing yet. And I can be cool that you Because the word says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has in store for them. Him. Now, I believe it's somebody in here today, you try to live right. It's not saying you don't make no mistakes every now and then, but you know a God. You know a God. You know a God that when you do make that mistake, accidentally, you can go down on bending knees and say, Jesus, oh, Jesus, why he come and see your family? Oh, Lord. Paul doesn't allow himself to be distracted from his purpose. Uh We got an assignment to carry out. Each one of us has an assignment to carry out from the Lord. And let's put it this way. The Lord ain't called all of us to preach. He ain't called all of us to sing. He ain't called all of us to serve on the earth board. But each one of us can do something for the Lord. Can you prove that preacher? Acts 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8. You shall receive power. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Now, when I read that, it didn't say you had to be a preacher. It didn't, have to, it didn't say you had to be a minister. But you can be a witness. Is it any witnesses in the house today? In other words, you know God that you say that if you say a sinner like you, surely he's still in the same I got here, my body was tired. Jesus. But I tell you, I feel all right. I feel all right, man. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know where you just go in faith and despair and depend on God that you trust in Him, that He will come and see about you when you call on Him. I didn't wait till I got here and called on the Lord. But ever since last Sunday, when I was driving back from Tennessee on the day, the Lord dropped this scripture in my spirit. I begin to start praying right now, right then for today. But that was last Sunday morning. This is a brand new Sunday morning. New mercy, new grace, another opportunity, and I can worship Him. Another opportunity, and I can praise Him. Another opportunity that I can let Him know that I love Him. And the way God watches over us through seen and unseen things. Why so many have lost their lives. But the hand of God is on your life. And you ain't going home to be with the Lord until you have finished your assignment. Help me somebody. And people are leaving this world. But the question needs to be asked is all of them going to heaven? Woo! We might as well be real, I'm about it. About two months ago, I went to Hampton and laid my older sister to rest. And when I stood up to do her eulogy, Sister Dalton, I'm going to tell you, you're talking about a pain down on the inside of me. I mean, that's a pain that I will never forget. But I said, Lord, I'm your child. You called me to deliver 
your own word. Now we're going on 33 years in this ministry. You have never forsaken me. Every time I have stood up for you, even though it's rough this time, tears running down this time, but I'm still going to stand on your word. Well, preacher, as I get ready to leave you, is that all right? Because if you ain't got it by now, you ain't going to get it. If you ain't got a made up mind to keep pressing on, I might as well get a benediction and go on out the door and write about it. But before we walk out the door, there's three things that the Lord put in my spirit to share with you. Not only to the past, but to everybody that's here today. The first one, always pray. Oh, Always pray. Oh, and I know y'all wonder why we got to pray so much. Why not pray so much? I've discovered that the more I pray, the more power rests on my life. I've discovered that the more I pray, better things goes in my life. This is not saying the devil ain't going to come against me. This is not saying that the devil ain't going to try to distract me. But I'm standing on the word of God. Because the word of God says, great is he that is in me, that he is in the world. So if I stand on the word of God and call on Jesus, everything has to work in my favor. Am I right about it? Help me somebody. Second thing, stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. So many church folks are leaving the church on account of this COVID. Some church folks ain't even came back to church yet. They used the COVID as an excuse. But ain't it strange how you can see them at Walmart? Ain't it strange how you can see them in, in, the, in the food line? Ain't it strange how you can see them at the ball? But yet, God has been so good to them. They scared to come to church. They will catch the COVID. Why is your faith? Where is your faith in the God that you serve? Yes, Lord. Let's see an idea or illustration. Jesus. <laughs> when my wife and I travel past a daughter, yes, sir. when I look over at her, if she ain't on the phone, okay. she laying over there. Amen. <laughs> now let me explain that. Why she laying over there sleep? My her life is in my hands. In other words, she trusted me to get it out safely. Come on. Come on. Come on. When we fly on a plane, we don't know the pilot. But we trust him with our life in his hands. I thought about when we stay on a cruise on a big ship, we don't know the captain of the ship. But yet we trust Now, why not Jesus. Why trust the Almighty? It got everybody in his hands. Hey. 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 Last one. Jesus. Your calling. You have a calling on your life. Amen. Each one of us Jesus. has a calling on our life. And like we said earlier, the Lord do not call everybody to preach. Amen. But everybody can be a witness yes, that there is a God yes. that sits high and looks low. Yes. And listen, not only sits high and looks low, but he's alive. Yes. How do you know he's alive, preacher? Because early this morning, early this morning, around 3 a.m., I was talking. On yesterday, I know they I noticed they was calling for rain all day today. Amen. And I said, Lord, I want to see your sun shine Amen. tomorrow. Amen. You mean to tell me you told the Lord you want to see his Amen. sun shine today? Amen. Yes, I did. I know the God I serve. Now before I got up, I looked outside, seemed like the sun was out. Now you may be wrong, but it seemed like the sun. Why you ask the Lord to do that? Jesus. Let me tell you why. I wanted my confirmation yeah. for to be here today. I 
I want to say kind of sign that I was ordained to be here today to celebrate with this man of God. Yeah. Woo! And God will do just what you ask him to do. He ain't got no particular person. That's right. I'm no better than you. I'm just a child of the king, just like you. I'm just trying to make it in. Woo! In other words, I'm just pressing on. Yes. I'm just pressing on. Yes. So be encouraged, my brother, my sister, that stands right beside me, son after son. Be encouraged. I remember what I told my wife when I left Morning Star. I said, Well, honey, you ain't no first lady no more. <laughs> Yeah, I told her that. And I remember what she told me. I don't remember much, but I remember that. She looked at me and she said, I will always be a first lady. When you got a calling on your life, the devil can do everything he wants to, but he cannot do no more than you than God alive. Some stuff he keeps to himself, Jesus. being led by the Spirit. Yeah, but thank you. I personally want to tell you thank you. Jesus. Because I know what it's like the way my, my, my wife sticks by my side. Amen. Let us stand so we can pray. Amen.